Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be taking a look at episode 3 of Time to Twice's Fake Squid Game, a new little concept for this season. We've seen the girls do an awful lot over the past two episodes, we've seen them do a little bit of a, a bungee jump abseil type thing, a little bit of climbing, a bit on a slide, a little bit, I think last week we had red light, green light where the girls split into teams, Sana and Gio won that, Gio obviously super competitive and won't take any prisoners in that. I can't remember what was the teaser for this week's episode, so let's just get into it. No doubt they will uh, remind us at the beginning. Let's skip this, it's uh, the same thing every week. Would be nice to see a new intro now and again. Oh, it would be nice to understand. This is the climbing thing I was saying. Oh yeah, lots of screaming. And some wimps. <laughs> yeah, so they, ha they had to find the staff that was around, that were hidden. So there's a, there's, a, there's a couple of little things left in this area. We've got a climbing wall, we just saw a little slide uh, here, this slide. You, you hold on to it and you hold on as much as you can to try to get to the top and then you let go and slide down. Uh, Viviz did this a while ago, so it's why I kind of know the layout of this area. So there's the climbing wall. What else is there? Is Santa winning? I think Santa's near the top. Yeah. We've got, we've got some. We've got a lot of wimps this time around. Bottom ranking players. I can call out players for their choice to do the match. Oh, are they going to gamble? Is it going to be winner takes all? Match climbing match by selecting your opponent. Nine plus. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So Santa could lose half and Momo could gain and then be take up yeah because Sandra built a nine mom has one so oh we could see a bit of the tables turn here so if they don't wuss out and get to the top I'd gamble and go for the big the big ones. So there is a thing in this game where you can actually be in negative numbers. I think after the first game, I think I think it might have been Nyon. Nyon and Momo were like negative bracelets. Well I've got Cheon on this, but we'll see. You never know. The wimps might pull out a strength. Maybe. Hey, it's pretty damn close. Yeah, it's pretty close. She's looking down. There's your problem. <laughs> she's a wimp, which is cute. There you go. Let go. Fall down. Let go. Ooh, I haven't heard that, that song in a while. Is someone going to have to climb up and get her down? Oh, she's climbing down. She might be the babiest of the babies. The oldest one as well. Every time I see this, every time I see this and see that Burger King behind, I'm just like, oh, bacon, XL bacon double cheeseburger meal. Yes, please. Ooh. You're going to be brave? Oh, 
hear that. No. Okay. <laughs> wimp versus wimp. But, but, Dion might be a wimp. But she's been doing pretty damn well. She's been going out there and nailing everything. She might be terrified, but she's still doing it. I think even Momo got to the top of the uh, yellow plinth that they were climbing on. So they might wimp out, but sometimes they'll pull through. Hey, oh. Does Momo have a height advantage in this? Fractionally. And they're both dancers, so they're both limber, so they should be able to spring up there. Oh. I maybe give Momo too much credit there. <laughs> The Diane's doing good, she's just looking at where she's going, not looking down, because that's maybe where Nyon fell culprit. As soon as you look down and see that height. <laughs> Who got higher? Nyon or Mama? Is, is Mama making her way down? Yeah, she is. <laughs> Easy peasy. What was that? 27 seconds? I, I didn't check. What did Cheon do? Let's check. Let's check. If they're not keeping score, I will. Where is she? Should have checked this at the time. Twenty-four. Ooh, twenty-four, twenty-seven. See. Who could be the quickest? Gio? Yeah, so this is the, that's the worst. <laughs> Look at Momo. <laughs> Where's my buttons? Like a little koala bear clinging on here. So I've done climbing walls like this before, and it, it is one of those like just let go and you can abseil down. It's like e easier said than done sometimes. She did it. Ooh, we've got a fed up chipmunk version of Mara Ma. Oh, Mina. Is Mina going to be brave and go for one of the big girls? I mean, bigger than the ones that have got the lead. <laughs> The reluctance in both of them. Chewie's got the height. Mina? Looks like she's going for it though. She's going for it. She's got the lead. <gasps> See? There might be wimps, but sometimes they might surprise you with something. Ah, see Chewie's height's coming into play there. Mina's taking like little steps up. Chewie's bounding up. So it could come down to speed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, Mina! 21. Ooh, quickest so far. One of the wimps as well. Oh, oh, oh. Well done, well done. Wasn't expecting that, like I said. Sometimes these little wimpy ones pull out the bag and she's proper up sailing down. She might have found her strength. Good. Nice. That'll be a boost of confidence there. Oh, she's gonna go for G, will not she? Jungas don't give a shit. She'll just go straight for like. Sana or Gio, one at, one at top ones. Can they choose the same girls again? Oh, Sana. <laughs> Sana will just giggle up the wall, carelessly. Not carelessly, but like, she doesn't care, she'll just go up it. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Jungun's trying to show off a bit there, I think. Trying to get a bit ahead of himself. Is it close? How close? Show us a wide shot. There we go. Yeah? It's like one. Jeez. How quick is this? That were like, I'm sure that were like 16 seconds. Yeah. So if we look at this. Sana's here. 15. 15. And Jungia's up here with 19. So Mina got 21. So Jungia's probably at the same time. 21. 20. Sana, probably 15, 16. That's pretty damn rapid. It's again with Sana. Just giggling through life. Effortlessly winning everything. Absailing down. Nice. Ah, so you don't have to, so they don't have to choose. So she's well in the lead now. 27 she'll have. Okay, so some of the people that haven't gone can also choose people again. Oof, <laughs> minus eight. <laughs> yeah, so you can get minuses in this game. Sometimes just coming with zero, it's, you're not losing, just having nothing. Oh, is that it? Wait, so we didn't have to see Geo climb? I guess that's because there's nine girls, you can't have nine teams. <sighs> right, okay. Right. Round four rules. Diane and Cheon both have 22 bracelets and thus they're a team leaders. The team member. Alright, so we're playing rock, paper, scissors. But what are they playing then? While playing basketball. Should be one of those basketball courts that's on a on a massive trampoline, so you can do some like crazy good slam dunks. <laughs> so it's not a scary game, but she's competitive. When she wants to be. This is the worst. This is this is the worst thing ever. Is when you when you picked last or not picked last, someone's picked above you and then you are last and you just have to join a team and you know that neither of them wanted you. It is true. Have you ever seen Santa run? It's adorable. Unathletic. But it's adorable. <laughs> but she is... It's weird to say if she's the least athletic because, like, if you've seen the uh, the last Running Man episode they did where they were trying to climb around a pyramid that were, that were all lathered up and soapy, she was bounding around that without slipping. So she's got balance, and you need that in basketball, if that's what they're playing here. So... She's a weird entity. She's unathletic, but, some but she's got good balance and quite some grace. But then we've got the numbers. <laughs> what are the playing then? And they're all cheats. <laughs> this happened in CrossFit last week. We were about to start a workout and the coach was like, three, two, everyone started running and I, st I stood there waiting for zero and everyone else, because we would do it in halves. Everyone just looked and I'm like, 
guess everyone's cheating there. Right, blow the whistle, traveling. <laughs> Can only take three steps, well, we're not like eight. <laughs> Unless it's netball, then you're not taking any. You gotta pass it around. Oh my god, this might be the longest game of basketball ever, just to get one, one in. <laughs> what is this? Are any of them gonna try a dribble? Oh yeah, there we go. Traveling. We're as bad as LeBron James, we're travelling in. LeBron's not a good player. He's got an ego. He's got good team players around him. He's no Michael Jordan. He's no Kobe Bryant. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> not defending, just hugging her. Swish. Yeah, nice. It's always a nice sound here as well. Hearing just a clean basketball swish. I used to play basketball when I was a kid. When when it was blatantly obvious I was never going to grow after 12. And I, I maybe got like two or three inches in after that. Before that, we were all relatively the same height. It was fine. But once we got into high school, it was like, I can't, I can't play basketball anymore. Everyone's taller than me. So I'd play rugby. Or I could just run up the side. <laughs> it's, it's almost like bloody dodgeball here. Travelling. <laughs> it's like a rugby basketball going on here. Put it up your shirt. Hide it. <laughs> Throw it. <laughs> you never know. Three pointer, Sam. Go on. We found Santa's weakness. <laughs> we found something she's scared of. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not even near it. <laughs> it's a mess. It's a cute mess. <laughs> it's making up their own rules now. It'll just turn into a netball at the end where it's like, if you pass it, you've got to stand still. You can only pivot. Netball's a thing in Korea. I'm sure I've seen net them playing netball in the Olympics. Would th would that not have been a better thing for them to try than basketball? But then again, they all seem to like pretend they like basketball when it's like, oh yeah, LA Lakers, LeBron James. Like they'll know him. Pretend pretend they know the spot for a free shirt. <laughs> Santa's Santa's game is just pass and run away. What's going on? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Bank shirt as well, off the top. <laughs> They're doing well to say there's just three of them. The scores might be different if they were like four on four. Oh. 
I mean, who got that? Who got that? There's too many white shirts. There's too many white shirts and black hair. What's going on? Was that Mina? Wasn't she? Because Che's got stripes. Mina. Yeah. Ten? Oof. <laughs> wow, so we got jumped up in the lead. Sano 37, Chan 32, Jungyeon. She's now, she's. So take back what I said 10 minutes ago. Sometimes zero does mean you last. Well, more than I, I've got two now. Sana's quite, quite a steady lead here. This must be the last episode. I can't see them doing much more here. To stretch out to like four or five episodes. So what's this? Are they doing one on one? Ah, it's a solo arena. A, B, A. Oh, two on two, is it? What is going on? Oh, okay, three for a basketball. Oh, so there's two games going on. Oh, we have a, a bit of a variety going on. We've got penalty kicks, we've got handball, which I think they're supposed to get it in the box that was behind them, and then the three, three four fins, which is like what you see at arcades. Hmm. <laughs> So they're against each other. <laughs> it's not an after ball, Santa. <laughs> she was doing well. We found we found Santa. We found someone she's scared of finally. <laughs> it's either competitive cheery or balls being thrown at her very fast. <laughs> Still in. If I've learned anything in life, if it goes in, it's in. Cute. Oh! Oh! I wonder what sensors that's got. Because it looked like it was going to carry on going. I thought it'd just wipe left or right like a windscreen wash, but it's not. Calm. Mom was doing well, got her. Yeah. Ah, uh, that yeah, that would be cheating if there's actually someone back there watching. I thought it might be like a sensor somewhere, having a guess. Hmm. Cause that went, it went left and it stopped and went back. She's left footed as well. I'm left footed. <laughs> Take a lot. <laughs> Why not? Why not? If you're losing, you might as well gamble and see how far you can get. This machine's pretty damn good though. Okay. 
Elsa, are the other two girls gonna go in here, play it together? I didn't know that these were against each other. I guess they are. It's pretty damn calm to say they're playing against each other. Chewie's clearly very in the, in the lead in this one. Nearly three times let's go. Oh, we do have more. Surprising. Okay. Okay, okay. I wasn't ex I kind of thought we might get to the end this week. A lot of times twice is three episodes. It's very rare they'll go to like four or five. So I guess we'll see a twist next week because I don't see how they can expand on just those little games over 20 minutes. But we'll see. I guess that means Santa's lead's been cut down. So Chewie might be somewhere near the top now. But especially if they're giving like 10 bracelets away for certain things. But yeah. It's fun. It's a fun little show. I'm glad it's seen like a, a little different aspect to the girls in this and seeing where their strengths lie. But it does look like somewhere I'd love to visit in Korea. But it's one of those places like I'd love to visit with a group of people, not by myself. It'd look kind of weird if there's loads of people having fun and then this strange, chunky foreign guy just doing his own thing in there. It'd be like a bit weird. But very fun, as always, with the girls. Don't know if we'll get anything else before the end of the year. This might be the only twice thing. We do have the tours being re-announced. I think I mentioned that last week. I might do London. I might not. I just don't really like going to London. It's horrible. Um, we do have a teaser coming out for a new single. That's coming out in like spring. And they're already putting stuff out about it. Why not? You know, why not? Got Itzy coming up as well in JYP News. But yes, as for this, always fun. Always chaotic. Always a slight mess. But it's always fun. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.